Hello everybody, just making a quick news video. Um, before that, I have my Academic Decathlon shirt. I know it's backwards, but the <clears throat> decade was the 60s. This year it's on health and science. Anyway, I want to make a quick video about Robin Hood. Um, as you might have heard in the news, Robin Hood was, um, not purposely, but <clears throat> allowing certain people to go on heavy margins to make their trades. Some people went up to 25 times leverage on their trades. <clears throat> There's a story of someone that did $4,000 he had in his Robin Hood account and was able to make a million dollar uh, stock gamble. There's a few other stories where people lost thirty, forty thousand dollars $40,000 literally in a few seconds. If you check the Reddit on um, Wall, <clears throat> excuse me, Wall Street Bets, you will see some absolutely crazy bets that happened. Um, it was a mistake. It was a glitch in the system, essentially. Um, people were telling Robin Hood that they had a lot more money in their account than they did, and they were able to actually make some purchases. Um, I, for one, think that it's way too risky to do anything in margin or leverage. The stock market over long periods of time has been going up. Um, dividends are increasing. Um, you could repurchase those shares of dividends and just keep making that compound interest grow. Um, going on leverage, and I already think, is risky enough if you're going to be putting in a good amount of money. So I definitely don't recommend doing leveraging in, in any regard in the stock market. You're already leveraged enough in your house, and I think that's adequate enough. So just keep it slow and steady. You know, most of the millionaires that invest in the stock market, they do so slowly. You know, they put regular contributions in month after month. They don't look too much into market news and market timing. They just stick to a financial plan and constantly go at it. So that's what I recommend you guys do. Most teachers are pretty conservative with their money. And I think that you should have a decent amount in stocks, along with some bonds as well and REITs and whatnot. But going into mar margins is very risky. Let's say that you have 10% margin and so you have $1,000 and you're able to make a bet on $1,100. If the market goes down 10% from there, not only do you have to pay your $100 back with interest, but you'll also be down $110 instead of the $100 if you weren't on margin. Sure, margin does work occasionally for the short term, but we're in it for the long game. I know most investors in this channel and most people that sub to this are looking for a very consistent plan to grow their money. So um, a lot of the videos I do do show how to do well long-term plans so i recommend you do the same if you have any questions on my investing philosophy if you have a certain investing philosophy you would like um, recommendations on feel free to leave a comment down below have a good one guys keep on investing